Hello everyone, I am back. I am back with some more Dust Wars Gemini. So, believe it, last time we cleaned up a bunch more tribals, even though there's Spaceship Part 2, so that was pretty cool. Hitting up uh, Icar military base and stuff. Hey, we even went to an ant, a big, bun fun, big bug fun club. <laughs> so yeah, that was cool, disguised in an ant, and we danced around and Listen to the, like, loud EDM music. That was pretty sick. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, continue and finish off, uh, stuff. I wonder if I've unlocked any more cheats, too. I'm not, I'm not sure if I have. Oh, okay, just rainbow blood. All right, cool. I think so. Something like that. Anyways, let's continue where we last left off, and... Who knows, I may even finish the game today? Wow, 26 hours, 22... 26 hours, that's a fair amount of time, that's for sure. Well, let's continue then. I think I last left off on uh, Rift S, I'm pretty sure. Who do I want? I think I might want Bella, actually. At least for Rift S specifically, because I know she has a... She has a book that she can use to get somewhere, so... <laughs> Not sure, I don't mind playing as her for a bit. Probably a good idea, right? Oh, of course she's all the way back on Icar, so yeah, we'll just uh, go over to Rithassa then. Alright, cool. Go map and- oh, hey there, Jesse, welcome in. I see you there. <laughs> you, you caught me. You got me right on the beak. As usual. But anyways, let's go over here. I know there are a couple different uh, places here that I still have yet to explore. That have tribals. Particularly that have tribals. Maybe one of them has a spaceship part two. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's probably here. I haven't found any spaceship parts on this planet yet, so you know. Also just uh, check the tribals here while I'm at it. <laughs> Baronade had her go mode requiem to get boss key. Yikes. Yikes, dude. Yikes, dude. That's rough, Jesse. Okay, so there are six in Ascent, and then there are like 16 in the mine, apparently. Wherever the Ascent and the mine are. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. And then there's going to be the... And there's going to be... Well, Whatever spaceship part may be over here, too. Either the stabilizer or, well, something else. And I don't actually have to go through that door, so... <laughs> Just, uh, completely ignore it, more or less. Kind of nice. Just like I can also ignore the tribals here, because I saved them all in this part, so, you know. What weapon do I want going it forward? I don't know. Machine guns, pretty good. I mean, homing missiles are pretty good. Bell only has 20 compared to, like, uh, the, what, 60 that Juno has? Yeah, I guess we'll go machine gun then. problem with a little, you know, spray and pray, like this. <laughs> and killing ants, of course. <laughs> Especially when the auto-aim works pretty well by itself, so you know. Okay, now this is where I might want the homing missiles. Target lock and then destroy. <laughs> Man, there's so much destruction. I love it every single time. Had to beat Shadow to get our ring on a prelude check. Yikes. That sucks. <laughs> That's an oof right there. Oh, 
Hi there, another dead, another dead end? Sure, don't mind if I do. <laughs> another one? Well, keep them coming. <laughs> Oh, this is a job for, right? <laughs> I guess I'll use some more homing missiles here. I don't see why not. <laughs> Just uh, blow them all up. Speaking of blowing things all up, well, <laughs> I somehow did not blow tribals up. Honestly, sometimes I'll take it. Go back to that trusty machine gun. Okay, well, there's there's splatter everywhere, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Something's firing at me from somewhere. Oh. Must be these guys over here, right? Ah, sure. No worries, I'll just destroy them. Well, I think a couple more homing missiles should do the trick. There we go. <laughs> I feel so powerful and I love it. I believe this is the end of the era. There we go. <laughs> Most accurate weapon. Of course the hoeing missiles are pretty freaking accurate. What do you expect? They home in, so. Oh, hey, this uh, spot's deep enough for Bella to swim in. Okay, cool. And I was indeed hoping that would be the case, so, you know, it works. I wonder where this goes. Ascent, huh? Oh, <laughs> good thing I have a sniper rifle right now. Say that. Oh god. I see your way up there. I see your way up there. And he's splattered. Nope. Not you either. Sure that hurt a little bit, but hey, it's fine. I hear a big bug somewhere around here. Oh god. Well, <laughs> so I have a flamethrower, I guess. I came prepared.
And, uh, mindful of where I am. Someone is around here. Okay, I think he's dead. Let's just say he's dead. <laughs> Go from there. Oh, hey, help. Sure. I will take that. This occurred to me, am I gonna need Lupus for this place? I don't see any uh, tribals in the distance on those uh, platforms, so I think the answer is no, but I hope I'm wrong. Or rather, I hope, I hope I'm right. <laughs> hey, I guess we'll see what's in here then. Okay, sure, lots of enemies. How about let's blow them up? the plasma shotgun. I hear someone down there. Oh, I see a grenade. Yeah, I think it's safe to go down now. Down this big spiral, that is. Why am I getting cavern vibes from Goldeneye all of a sudden? That's probably because I am. Oh, hey, 12, what's going on? I see you there. <laughs> what is that, like a Yoshi emote type thing? Oh, it's a, it's a cell, uh, it's a cell emote, nice. <laughs> Well, have a good look there, 12. I'm uh, just killing uh, as Bella and maybe killing a few ants. You know, sorry, ant sonas, but you know. Oh, hey, Shinobi, how's it going as well? The boops. I apologize to any ant sonas. <laughs> By the way, yeah. What is that? There was a thing there. You know what this means? I, ta I probably don't want to continue here unless that thing is dead. that thing. Maybe try rockets are the better option here. Looks like I kind of want to blow that thing up, but yeah. Kind of a trip tomorrow morning, you know, that's fair. Oh, 
just blow them all up, sure. <laughs> Why not, right? Man, shouts to Tri Rocket Launcher, jeez. If you want destruction, then the Tri Rocket Launcher's gotta be it, so. Okay, I imagine there are probably lots of tribals out here, so I'm just gonna. Also, see some refueling pads, jet pack, so. Right, I guess we're gonna go! <laughs> right. <laughs> See if this is a mistake or not, but I mean, hopefully it isn't. Ideally, I'm hoping to find tribals, at least on these spots here. doesn't look like there are any, especially not over here. Oh no, is this like a death trap now? <laughs> is this a death trap now that I'm this far out? I mean, I hope not, but we'll find out, I guess. I have to make my way back to that platform, and then... Oh god, I am probably gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Go higher. No, no! <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I pushed myself and I pushed myself too hard. Just to know for the fact there aren't tribals out there, so, you know, that helps. At least slightly. I think there's another refueling pad way over there, so. Let's be a burb and then I'll fly. <laughs> Tribal up there. There is not. Okay, good to know. It looks like the main goal of this area is just to like cross this huge gap. I'm not seeing any tribals over there, so. What I am seeing might be actually the path. Need to always watch out for my fuel quantity here too, so... <laughs> okay, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. For now. As long as I have fuel in this jetpack, then it's fine. Yeah, how are you doing, by the way, Shinobi? Hello there. <laughs> Knowing this game would probably stick a tribal up there. Or, you know, maybe not. 
It's instead just the way forward. Okay, sure. <laughs> down too sure why the heck not get the tribal though that's the tribal's the important part <laughs> right, i wonder where this goes this could go to a spaceship part maybe hopefully we'll find out i'm sure Well, if anything, all the tribals here are saved, so that's a plus. Wait, is this a new area or is this an old area? Kind of looks, uh... Kinda looks vaguely familiar though, but... Okay, perhaps it is an old area. Okay, sure. Okay, I hear a bug so Oh yeah, there's a bug somewhere. There he is. Oh, well, he's dead now. <laughs> okay, well, if anything, this looks like the way forward. Or maybe it's, maybe the way forward is the way back. I mean, I'll take that too, but yeah, there we go. Most lethal weapon, oddly the pistol, nice. The important part, though, is tribals were saved, so, you know, that'll work. Nice if I could get a bit of ammo, too. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> and I guess we'll go into the mine, because, sure, why the heck not? Got what I found here, but I think it was something along the lines of, uh, I think it was something along the lines of, like, a uh, Lupus's stuff. Oh yeah, and the doghouse has also this stuff, too. Like, a bunch of health. It's nice. <laughs> Remember, this dog is actually quite mean, so... Come here. I can't kill him, though, but, you know. Remember, that's the... Oh, yeah, I need the mine key to get in there. I think I can get that with, uh... I think I have, like, this book. I'm trying to remember. I got it, like, a while ago, back, way back on Eshbone. Eshbone or something. Some kind of magazine. Oh, yeah, there they are. There it is. Yeah, the little uh, book there. Oh yeah, also that fireplace really hurts, so, you know. 
Wouldn't hurt Juno, but, you know. Let's talk to this guy again. Sorry about Flopsy, she has four bees stuck way out, way out here. Actually, I get pretty lonely myself sometimes. I, er, I'm supposed to got anything that could help take my mind off at all. Make it worth your while, of course. Nobody regrets doing business with old Fernando. Can you help me out? I'll let you take a look around the mine, okay? Go on, it's really interesting. Great, er, historical value. Historical value. And if it's tribals are after, you can... You can barely move from the little pass down there. Assuming Flopsy has a seek and eat some since last I looked. So what do you say? Any offers? Yeah. Well, maybe you'd like this. What's that? A magazine? It almost looks like it could prove a pleasant distraction during these solitary moments. Press the A button to make, take a close look at the B button to keep a firm grip. Now you can have the magazine. And I got a thing. Oh, you're a star. I can barely wait to get started. Here's the key to the mine. Off you go. Lock the door on your way out. I'll be off then. <laughs> sure. Also need to recharge my health because I took a... I took a hurting a little bit back there uh, with the... Touching the fireplace. <laughs> I'm not Juno, I'm Bella this time, so... <laughs> Juno has fire resistance. Vela, I can't say the same about her. Okay, let's go into the mine. How about it? Haven't been here yet. I like this music being used for the mine, too. It's pretty cool. Like, uh... Sounds like the... Sounds like pickaxes. There are probably lots of tribals here, like, working really hard. Jeez. Oh, it looks like they're like mining the, they're like mining the gems. Something like that. Yeah, it's being put, being put to work. I hope they were getting paid decently well, but still. There are bound to be like a lot of a uh, bottom down here for sure, so. Like what, there were like 16 down here or something? Must stress too, this is really good music for this place too. Almost looks like I can destroy that. Nope, guess not. Worth a try though. Worth a, worth a try, Rocket, they say. <laughs> well, I guess down we go. <laughs> There are definitely some pretty cool locations in this game, if anything, so that's cool. I don't know how many ants are going to be in here. I imagine probably not very many, though. Tribals, come to me. Yeah, there we go. I guess I'll see what's in the boxes here. Wait, what is that? What is that? Maybe it's some kind of switch? I don't know what it looks like.
Oh, okay, I see what that's doing. Like it lowers the elevator. That's pretty cool. I guess more generally activates the elevator, but you know you, you know what I mean. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hello there. You guys look great. You're doing a bang up, bang up job. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, at least they they went to a better employer than Mizar. That's one thing. <laughs> I appreciate the encouragement there. <laughs> For sure. Is that all you have to say, or...? I suppose so, yeah, sure. But we also got a bit of a branching path here, too. Let's go to the left one first. Get what we got down this long and winding road. Okay, more tribals, even better. certainly more tribals this way, so that's something. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember to go down the other path when I backtrack. Oh no! Ah! Okay, well that was a pit. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I guess I could uh, backtrack right now. <laughs> sure. I assume these are pretty dangerous uh, working conditions, to say the least. Working in a mine like this. I wonder what's down this passageway. Clearly there's more stuff down the left passageway. Keeping my eye, uh, eyes peeled for more tribals and stuff. Man, this music is just so good. Oh, and we got water, folks. <laughs> Guess we'll start exploring this area then, huh? Another one. Kind of chilling here. Probably going to be a spaceship park somewhere down here, I imagine. And there's still so much of this place left to explore, too.
Okay, I'm just gonna assume those are bottomless pits right there. Okay, cool. More tribals. Oh, what's this? Okay, that's that's different. Never seen this pad before. What does this do? Oh, wait a second. Bella seems to be transforming. Oh, <laughs> okay. So just like I was an ant, I'm, I'm now tribal. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Now instead of saving the koala, koala bears, I've now become the koala bear. <laughs> sure, why not, right? <laughs> it's random, but it's cool nonetheless. I've been here already. Maybe I have. Although I wasn't a tribal before, so you know. Yeah, this is so silly, but I love it. And my question is, which way is which way? Well, I guess I'll find that out. Good enough. <laughs> Being the tribal I am. Wonder what happens when I talk to this guy as a tribal now. <laughs> this between you and me, furry. Hey, he called me a furry, right? Those jet force do girls want fun to break up for a little party. Having Mizar in power isn't such such a bad idea, you know. Could give us a lot of room for expansion. Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't really mind working for good old uh, good old Framer, do you? Come on, I'm not that bad. Anyway, you like mining, I like money. It's the perfect partnership. You never know, I might even start paying you one day. Oh no! But don't hold your breath. Oh no, they're they're even they're even wor they're even worse. <laughs> they're they're like just they're like just as bad as they're just as bad as Mizar. Look, this is what Jet Force will be after. I give it to you. Can you go and bury it somewhere? Your <laughs> thing, boss. I'll take care of it. <laughs> oh, so he used the disguise to like. Ooh, there we go. There's the okay. There's the spaceship part. That's eleven out of twelve. Before he spins a face of some strange spacecraft, looks a little old, old and worn. I need to get back to work. Sure. <laughs> Hey, when a disguise actually pays pays off really well. <laughs> yeah, so that's officially 11 out of 11 out of 12 spaceship parts, and the last one is what we get for saving all the tribals, if I remember correctly. So that's the gist of it. <laughs> so he would he wouldn't give he wouldn't give the spaceship part to me unless I wore the guise of a tribal. Honestly, that's pr that's pretty awesome. Funny too, but awesome just the same. Looks like this path le le loops off out loops upon itself too. So there's that. If there are any other tribals down here that it could save, which there probably would be.
<laughs> yeah, this is a definitely... Oh, well, looks like it goes underwater too, huh? Okay, well, I can't use a jetpack as a tribal, unfortunately, so... I'm gonna have to find one of those tribal pads to go... Go back to being well, uh, Bella proper. <laughs> but hey, it works, right? <laughs> Man, Bella's sure good at wearing disguises. Let's say that. Tribal down here. Cool. Anything behind these boxes of note? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Let's stand on that elevator and then go places. Even, even going. Is it like that broken, huh? I just had to get it started a few times. But yeah, now it seems to be working at least. There we go. I don't think there's anything underneath it, so... Definitely getting very curious about that, uh... The other thing that I found down here. Where was the heckin', uh... Okay, I think this is the right way to go. Apparently there are two tribals left in this place, so I imagine... I'll have to use the jetpack. I imagine we'll have to use the jetpack to find them. But yeah, let's change back into Vela. Because Vela can actually use the jetpack for real, so. <laughs> you know, these, these moles here are quite shady, but, you know, Miser's worse. Buzzer is a little bit worse. Yeah, this game can get pretty dark. By the way, if it's if it's not obvious. 
Okay, I think I have to go down the other path. Maybe there's some more rivals down there. That's my hope anyways. There are like two left. I need to see if I can get back to that jetpack spot that I saw before. When it was still tribal, you know. <laughs> that was clever though, I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Having to get all the tribals to beat the game may be a bit excessive. Okay, it looks like the guy's gone now, so... Getting the spaceship parts by themselves, however, not quite so much. I enjoy that stuff. It's kind of like getting the artifacts and, like... Artifacts or energy cells or, like, uh, Sky Temple keys in, like, the Prime games. You know. Stuff like that. Just gonna keep eyes up, eyes up for more tribals who may be down here as well. I think this was the way to go. Pretty sure this was the right way to go. Oh, and I think I see where I need to use the jetpack, too. I saw a spot that goes upwards even further. And this elevator only seems to go down, so... Hey, okay, well, I got ideas now, that's for sure. Fuel up and then rocket sky high. How about that? Wee! <laughs> Even higher. There we go. And there's probably, yep, right on cue. The last tribals are in here. Let's go. <laughs> I think that's officially all the tribals saved, too. Now that I think about it, I might actually beat this game today. Who knows? For sure, might as well grab that thing too that's right there. I'll get them if I, it's like a kind of, I'll get them if I see them type of thing, but yeah. I suppose I'll go out this way. Pretty well the same way I came in, so should be all right. Wonder if I can leave as a tribal as well. That would be kind of funny if I could. Maybe I'll try that. See what happens. But then again, maybe not. At least, I, at least I freed all the tribals that were here. Enslaved under the... Rather, I guess they were volunteering under the... Under the moles here, so you know. If they like mining, then there's no problem with that, but... At, then it's volunteering, but... At some point, it's slavery. Oh yeah, sure. Become tribal. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and I love, and I love that he called he called me a furry. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of accurate. 
Well, feathery, technically, but you know. Close enough. I think it's appropriate. This is a furry enough game. I mean, you can literally play as a dog. You can play as a koala bear here. You can play as an ant. <laughs> I think this qualifies as a furry game. There, hey, there's some anthro characters in it, so you know. I guess I don't have much of an option other than, well, to eat myself off. Sure. We. <laughs> we have a very small amount of falling damage, though. I mean, the health is, like, right there, so there are literally no enemies here. But it's kind of nice, like, the way this uh, game is kind of split up between, like, in like, intense combat sections and and then, like, these slower sections, too. Pretty nice. Okay. Honestly, this mine was really cool. I, I enjoyed this place. <laughs> and just a little bit dark, too. Oh, it looks like I can get out of here. All right, there we go. I'll try to the rest of you, and well, <laughs> I will try to too. And I still am. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so, so let's see. I should have all the tribals saved by now, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, hey there, uh, hey there Liam. How's, how's it going? Well, I had like 50 new channel points options. Yeah, I, I added a few. Let's just say that. Most of them are sound alerts. Let's see. I should have all the tri all the tribals rescued at this point. Just going to double check. All of them here. Yeah, Eshbone. Yeah, I think they're all saved. Look at that. Yeah. How's my day been? Uh, day's been going pretty well. I got a couple things done and... Uh, also been going here to, you know. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's, been, it's been pretty cool. Oh, hey there, Funky Joe. What's up? I see you there. Welcome. And I'm, pl and I'm playing as a koala bear right now. <laughs> For the record, you can't do this all the time. I think it's like this, just this particular area, so you know. <laughs> you can also play as an ant at points. Man, here we are. Yeah, no, no, this is not a speed run. This is a casual playthrough, and in fact, it's a first time playthrough, and I think I might almost be done the game. So that's kind of cool, too. At this point, I just have to. I think we have all the tribals. See the ship parts too. I think we have the. What did I get for the ship part? I think it was the. Okay, so I'm missing the stabilizer. So that must be the one you get for rescuing all the tribals. Which, yeah, it took a while, but I'm here now. Here it is deflector shield. Protects the vulnerable nose of the craft from space debris. That's good. How have I been? Uh, pretty awesome, actually. It's, uh, I'm also, uh, I've also, like, commissioned a ref sheet, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's see, where can I go from here? I mean, Goldwood has stuff. I could go to Walkway and re refill my ammo there, that's fine. So, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> that should be okay. I don't think I can be a tribal here, though, but you know. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. Honestly, this game is pretty cool, aside from, you know, the fact that you have to save all the tribals to be the game kind of makes it a bit of a slog for the second half, but 
It would have been better, I guess, if you say if you could save like say half of them or three quarters of them and to beat the game and getting all of them would be like 100% would give you something else, but you know, way it is you have to get all of them, so you know. That part be kind of rough, but I still enjoy this. I still have enjoyed this game regardless. So provide like a good a good 30 hours, which is like a this is a pretty solid length, anyways. So yeah, first it for a couple years. But a thing or another has to stop it, but everything goes good this year. Might be possible. Nice. Yeah, hopefully that works out, cause like. Depending on who you commission, they might have things that uh, pop up and stuff. <laughs> I'm also just gonna destroy a bunch of ants. Let's say killing it, killing ants is fun. What can I say? Man, these things are- these weapons are pretty cool, let's be honest. Also, I really- I really love this ambient theme, too. It's just so good. But I kind of like that, uh, Metroid item room vibe to it. How many Mizar tokens do I even have? I- I know I have a few. That's for sure. A few is in probably a lot. Let's see. Yeah, like 200. 200 is quite a few. <laughs> Be real here. I think I could spend them on a bit of, like, you know, weapon restores. For all the characters. I think that's fine. That's completely acceptable. Got all matter of weapons, too. <laughs> That's pretty sick. You made a rough sheet for yourself self while you made the colors, not the line art. Possible things um, might make it might make it possible. Nice. Awesome. Awesome there, Funky Joe. Okay, let's change over to other characters as well. I guess I'll probably do the same for Juno and Lupus, too, is just, like, refill my ammo here, because this is, like, a pretty conveniently located shop. So, you know. This year's kind of looking good. Awesome. Yeah, I know for a fact I am going to Vancouver this year, or BF. I may also be going to Foa, which is, uh, I didn't originally plan on going to Foa, but... Because I'm part of the fastest furs, like, speedrunning, like, furry speedrunning team, basically. Turns out the fastest furs marathon is going to be happening there in person, so, you know, that's pretty cool. I think for the Friday and Saturday specifically, so. That would be pretty sick if I could go even just for that, but yeah. Would of course require me going on a plane and stuff. How's Lupus doing for ammo, too? I think Lupus looks pretty decked out. Yeah, I think Lupus is pretty decked out. Okay. Lupus is fine for ammo. How about Juno, then? Should probably check out Juno. IRL face reveal of the wizard? Yeah, basically. And welcome in, Snaker. How's it going? Nice seeing you over here, too. Earth Essa. Okay, where do I want to go here? Oh, yeah, right. Walkway again. This is actually a really convenient spot just to, like, refill ammo and stuff. Because, hey, it's not too far out of the way, and there, there aren't too many enemies in between. Reminds me of when I was first here, here all the, like, all those years ago. Before I could even free Vela. <laughs> to think that way back in the day, I, I couldn't progress in this game because I did, I never found the proper circuit board to free Vela and the SS Anubis. 
So yeah, I never got past the SS Anubis really, you know. Regular furries don't like, oh fair, right? Oof. BRB yet? Yeah, no worries there, Funky Joe. Okay, Juno could also use a health refill. And he could definitely use an ammo refill too. Yeah, like look at that. I think this is this is where I originally found Juno's like homing missiles too. <laughs> yeah, which they're uh they pack a punch. Definitely not something to take too lightly. <laughs> I just love how over the top that is. It's, it's great. It's just simply great. <laughs> over the top comedic blood splatter everywhere. Okay, I think at this point I'll take this opportunity to refill Juno's both his health and his ammo. A weapon ammo, sure. Get away from me, you awful thing. Also, sure. Yeah, I think that's good, so we'll go ahead and uh, save and... Probably grab that last piece of the ship. <laughs> that stabilizer. I think... I'm guessing, I'm not sure, but I guess I have to find the tribal leader again. He might be here on Goldwood. And I guess we'll, at last, take down Mizar. Or at least I'll try. <laughs> I mean, the first fight against him wasn't too bad, but then again, he could have grown more powerful since then. Yeah, what? I've been streamed for only like an hour so far. I think this, I think this might be doable. To finish the game today. It's possible. It might be possible. I guess we'll go back to where this all began. Right here on Goldwood, in other words. Wait, I think there's like a capacity upgrade back over here that I couldn't get before. I'll check back in this little area. Oh yeah, there is something. What is this? Okay, flamethrower, sure. You know, could use that, so. <laughs> I don't mind in the least. The flamethrower is more like kind of a fun weapon. It's not one that I use regularly because it runs out of ammo super fast. So. It's cool, but it's not really worth it most of the time. Okay, now I just need to find where the heck this guy is. I mean, I'm pretty sure I saved all the tribals, right? I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure I did. It was like, it's like somewhere around 280 of them or something, so yeah. Okay, there should be a number just in the middle, but... Not in the others, okay. Which definitely seems to be the case. <laughs> My question now is where he's hanging out. So he's not in this hut. Oh, welcome back to Funky Joe. How's it going? Nice see you here again.
I mean, last I checked, he was over... Last I saw of him, he was over at, like, Miser's Palace. Maybe we'll go there. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe we'll go to Miser's Palace, huh? Sure. Because everything kind of connects there. Okay, let's try there. Because he could be here, too. Oh, hey! Like, Juno's uh, landing in the middle of this kind of pyramid structure here. Weird, like, non furry stuff like cars in old movies. I mean, uh, that's perfectly acceptable, too, honestly. They're funky dough. Like, I like my fair of old stuff. Like, I like old music, sp specifically. Like, music that's older than me, to say the least. But yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly thinking just like running across here. Machine gun blaring, yeah, sure. <laughs> Pretty much just killing what stands in my way. Also, sure. Uh, David Bowie and Frank Sapp, yes. Bowie's re yeah, Bowie's really good. I really like David Bowie's music. Yeah, remember, yeah, you fall down here, and then... <laughs> we... <laughs> Ow. That's one heck of a fall, though. <laughs> Where are my grenades? Let's get my grenades out. Those grenades work great against in these like close counters here, so you know. Close quarters rather. <laughs> Just blow up some more ants. And hopefully not myself in the meantime. Listen to, uh... Front 242, something like that. Yeah, I never heard of them. Specifically, but... Hey, right? By the way, hack the planet. <laughs> right? Yeah, where am I going? Oh, yeah. I was trying to remember where I am. This area. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, Juno... For Juno, the floor is lava. Well, that doesn't matter. As Juno, the floor is never lava. A great runoff forever. Yeah, exactly, right? I can say the same thing about a lot of bands. Like, pretty much every band, honestly. Did I go machine gun? Yes. Machine gun's pretty good, you know. Oh yeah, this lava doesn't matter. Juno's fine. <laughs> so yeah, there you go.
But Mazor was here before, where I first found him, and this was like his palace, basically. So yeah, yeah, he can literally walk on lava. Like his armor is just that is just that good. You okay? Yes, Juno's okay. He, he, his armor can withstand lava. I don't know. It's like Samus's, I don't know, gravity suit or something. In most Metroid games, lava, sure, no problem. Now let's go in here and then see. Uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. This this is definitely the right place to be. <laughs> okay, because this is the this is the ship, and we have all the pieces now, and there's the dude. Hello there. I believe his name's Jeff. <laughs> How can we ever thank you? If anyone has simply ign ignored our plight in the in the face of such odds. I mean, to be fair, like I've heard of stories about many people like. After hearing they had to save all the tribals, they would immediately say, yeah, no. I'm not doing that, but yeah. Jeff with that voice, okay, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so I think that's kind of a, that's kind of like a, <laughs> no, a little bit of humor there. Many would have simply ignored our play, yes. Because if you wouldn't have the patience to collect like whatever, uh, 280 tribals or whatever. <laughs> and yet your only reward, is a sudden threat to your own world by that coward, Mizar. The asteroid he's commandeered is heading straight for Earth. Don't catch up with him in time. The collision will certainly put an end to his, to his own life, but at a terrible cost to your people. We're still your jet force patrol ships. Just aren't, aren't cut out for such desperate work. We have a ship that may serve your needs, but there are drawbacks. Hey, since yes, you learned with it from an early age. Yeah, exactly, right? It's the ship our ancestors used to reach this galaxy many centuries ago. Many of its technologies have since been lost in the midst of time. You can locate the missing pieces that will certainly carry you to a final confrontation with Mizar. <laughs> oh, thank you for the lurk there, Liam. Have an awesome little lurk there. Both parts have gone missing over the years. Some have been hidden throughout the galaxy, others hoarded by the locals. The final piece I myself own, and it will be yours as a reward when all the captured tribals are finally free. Which they are, so... <laughs> oh, x saber there you go, how's it going? For sending you the Bizhawk? Yeah, you're hoping to take me all those monster worlds in the future? Oh, awesome. Yeah, because normally x saber we do it on uh, Friday mornings. I say mornings, but I mean, I'm talking like Pacific time, so... Usually starting at around 9 a.m. Pacific time, we do it. Oftentimes we do get delayed to like to like 9:30 or something, because tech issues and Archipelago isn't perfect. But yeah, Bizhawk works great for Ocarina of Time for that. So yeah, Bizhawk, however, for Jet Force Gemini, I found out does not work so great. But yeah, are the other ones y'all do? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Another thing too, uh, X Haber is like. For the sake of like speeding things up, we tend to do uh, Ocarina of Time on Triforce Hunt. Like we tend to say, okay, if you're doing Ocarina of Time, usually it's best to do Triforce Hunt because it's uh, it just ends up being faster. I usually end up doing that anyways, so you know. Where do you be some mercenary? But hey, times are rough. Anyway, enough talk. Your home world at stake. Be quick, find the pieces, and we'll be able to stop that maniac for good. When you have all 12 parts, bring them back here and we'll prepare this ship for its first voyage since the dawn of Goldwood. The very best of luck to you all. Drop your uh, boyfriend to play Hollow Knight random other. Yeah, Hollow Knight, I hear, is like, actually even, it is possible, but it's e that's a possibility for Archipelago, but it's, it's even bigger than Ocarina of Time for a multi-world, so... Wait, do we not have all the tribals saved yet? Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure like how many checks are in Hollow Knight. Let's see what I have here, okay.
Yeah, the stabilizer I know is... I think the stabilizer is the only one I'm missing. But it's like the final one. Did I miss a tribal somewhere? I don't think I did. Because I got all these other... All these other things. That's for sure. So I got all these other parts. Yeah, so I'm missing the stabilizer, but I have, like, everything else. What, what does Triforce Hunt mean exactly? It means it basically scatters uh, Triforce pieces in the item pool as well. And if you get all the Triforce pieces you need, which it, the total amount can vary, but if you get all the Triforces you need, your, your game is finished automatically, so you don't have to beat Gen. It's, it's cool, too, because it means, like, it's an alternative way to finish the game. Either you get all the Triforce pieces, or you, uh... Or you defeat Gen as normal, so... Check my tribals. Am I missing any? I'm just gonna do a double check for all this. Okay, because those, those numbers there should say zero. Or like all these things. Gosh, they appear to say all zero, so you know. But yeah. Try talking to him again. Oh, here we go. A race has at last thrown off this, the shackles of Mizar. Bravo. We will never forget Jet Force's ins inspirational heroics on this on this day. The prize relic from my ancestors is yours, with all my gratitude. Yeah, because we saved all the tribals. Wow, we're really grateful for your help. Thanks. And that's the final piece. Space support. Before you spin the piece of sunscreen, spacecraft. It looks a little old and warm. Yeah, it's the stabilizer. I must be going now. I think that's I think that's all the pieces that we need. So Stabilizer says retains the sh ship's equilibrium during take takeoff and landing. Which is important. Okay, so let's save that up and then... At last, you have all the parts. And not a moment too soon. Let's get to work before Mizar can make his revenge complete. Mind if I tag along? No. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's kick some big bug... Big bug butt. All the parts have been acquired. <laughs> Let's fix up this old thing. <laughs> so yeah, by the way, that part of the game is a big is a big slug, because you have to rescue all the claw bears. <laughs> but yeah, it's done and the end of the game is in sight. <laughs> And that's awesome. Ooh, okay, looks like that, uh, that's opening up. Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lifting off. In T minus 10, 10 seconds. Or something. <laughs> that's a pretty awesome ship, honestly. It's huge too, but much bigger than the three than the three individual ships that Bell, Lupus, and Juno each have. Okay, well there's the asteroid headed over for planet Earth. Let's stop it. <laughs> oh, it looks like we got there just in time too. Oh no! <laughs> well, thanks for that dis deflector shield that I just got this stream. 
Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for a final confrontation with Mizar. Well, looks like the ship's damaged, unfortunately, again. I told you to let me drive. Okay, okay. You two stay here and help Jeff fix it up. I'll go. I'll go and scout the surface. Might as well can't be too far away. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <laughs> well, why is this lair asteroid? Okay, cool. <laughs> well, here we are. Official. <laughs> the ship didn't, didn't have plot armor. No, it didn't. Okay, well, I got a lot of capacity upgrades. I have a ton of, like, ho shotgun ammo, homing missiles. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is it. This is the final, uh, final area, I think. There are a couple different paths here, too. There's this one down below and this one up above. <laughs> okay, let's save here, because I think I will... <laughs> I think this is the final part of the game. Yeah, there's going to be baddies here, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, I see them. God damn, they hurt too. Jeez. <laughs> oh god. There's uh, something big over there. Well, you have try rockets? I have my own rockets too. <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> yeah, such an epic uh, soundtrack, too. Wonder what's up in the other passage, just out of curiosity. Because I literally lost like half my health going through there. Okay, well, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> yeah, for sure, absolutely, yeah. Was a bot? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Was the final bit school? Yeah, I hope so too, honestly. <laughs> this might be hard, but I'm down for it. It looks fog too. Oh, hi there. Let's kill him. Oh, hey, I see uh, ammo. Let's go. Homing missiles? Dry rockets? Heck yeah. Machine gun? Heck yeah. Literally the best weapons right there, in my opinion, in the game. So, <laughs> you know, best weapons for blowing up bugs. Plasma shotgun's decent, but yeah, those three are like, 
Kind of the big three weapons of the game, I think. If there's any three weapons you don't want to live without in this game, it's those three. Oh, hi there. Shoot a few more cry rockets down there. Hope for the best. <laughs> you know, it's in like more splattered bug guts. Yeah, okay, I think that's the way out. jump up there I don't think I don't think I can but I can try no I can't I've, I've figured I might as well try right few homing missiles. Change it up a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, so so much fun. <laughs> oh, there's another guy here. <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts. That's essentially the machine gun here. Yeah, at least I got rid of all those enemies with shields. I think I did. <laughs> I hope, I sure as heck hope I did. A pretty cool, like, arena to fight in, too, like all the glass, or I guess ice, you could even say, in there, but you know. <laughs> Okay, what do we got out here? Oh god. Ow, ow, oh my god. Okay, I'm alive, barely. <laughs> yep, one point two. Following my peoples, yes, heck yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay, this is the one epic uh, music track to be using for here too. 
Wow, that, that, that room was, this room was brutal. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> okay, let's recharge my health, because I'm going to need it right now. I think farming for health at this point is very much, very much needed. <laughs> I could also even go back and grab the that ammo, but... I might be okay, there could be ammo up ahead. It's the same, so... This game's are pretty good about providing, like, ammo up ahead. <laughs> so, you know. I'll just hope there's ammo up ahead. I can farm, so... Okay, might as well just, like, top myself off there. Cool. Alright. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see what other uh, horrors await me over in this area. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go across to there. All right, well, here we go. the way forward, so, you know. Make sure my machine gun's out and ready, or... On second thought, maybe tri-rockets might be better, or homing missiles will work, too. <laughs> Those are pretty effective. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a real bug buster there. Spread kind of carefully here. Four of you, okay, sir. Bye, you puny ants. There we go. <laughs> oh, hey, I see a bunch of ammo here. Made ammo. Sniper rifle ammo. Ride rocket. Okay, yeah, it's like basically full everything. Heck yeah. <laughs> Homing missile ammo too? Yes, let's go. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, something is really coming up ahead. Something huge. Oh, here we go. <laughs> of course, no tribals, but that's fine. Oh yeah, here we go. I think this is it. I think this might be it. This might be the final encounter with Mizar. <laughs> this is it, folks. <laughs> okay. I'm prepared for an uphill battle. Let's do it. <laughs> Haven't had a boss battle for a bit. There you are. There you are, big bug face. Oh, hey, there's there's uh, Juno, Lu Bella, and Lupus. All of us. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Now the question is, uh, which character am I going to be fighting Mizar as? I don't know. If it's Juno, then great. If it's Lupus, great. Oh god. No! Lupus! Bella! No! Juno! <laughs> Juno, you got this. Oh yeah, he's alive. <laughs> he's got the strength, alright. Well, I guess it says Juno. <laughs> 
Uh, are we ready for this? I think I'm ready for this. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Literally. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I see a thing on his back that may be vulnerable. Oh god, that hurts. That hurts a lot. dead <laughs> okay sure at least i'm learning his attack patterns so that's something right <laughs> yeah let's try it again okay, at least there's a bunch for at least there's the ammo refill so you know i have a i have many 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 times to fight him you know so <laughs> All right, let's be a little bit more aggressive, I think. There's a bit of machine gun here. <laughs> God, does it ever sap all your health? Jeez. <laughs> now, like all your, all, like all, all my health is basically gone. Oh, jeez. Poison gas too. <laughs> all right. godsend, honestly. I appear to be hurting him. Okay, I think that's the best chance I have to, to, to actually attack him there. Okay, 
Oh, wait. What's happening? Oh. I think he's doing this again. <laughs> Bullet hell time. <laughs> I got I got farther. That's the important thing. <laughs> yeah, this fight's this fight's pretty heckin' brutal. But I'm having fun, so you know, that's cool. Well, let's attempt it again. Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> I did seem to be doing damage to him, so you know, that's a plus. Million asteroids coming at me. It's fine though. Okay, I'll just make sure my aim is true. <laughs> appears to be his weak point right there, if anything, so... At least often I uh, hit that thing, then that's fine. War. <laughs> hey, well, time for machine gun. <laughs> Otherwise known as spray and pray. Missiles out and hope for the best. At least get a little bit of damage going. Seem to be avoiding it. <laughs> Just have to jump over it, more or less. Okay, target locked, and let's let's go. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> okay, this is a fun fight. I'm enjoying it.
couple more, couple more good hits. Yeah, I know what he's doing now. <laughs> I know what he's doing. <laughs> All right. hits left there. Oh no! <laughs> I died again. <laughs> I was getting closer, so, you know, that's good. Okay, maybe it won't take three times. Maybe it'll take more than that. But, you know. Don't know exactly how many phases or whatever he has, but... <clears throat> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Might take a few tries. <laughs> Let's just say that. You know, this, this fight's pretty brutal, but I'm enjoying it. It's like, it's like Ravenbeak from Metroid Red Thread or something. Get a few shots off there. Oh god. Best bet to hit that. <laughs> okay, let's just do a little, little bit of a dance. I think most of this fight involves like. The idea is just to avoid the attacks. from like kind of right here get a few good hits off <laughs> that's for sure yeah the idea is to mostly yeah it looks like the idea is to mostly avoid attacks as much as possible You can kind of destroy these asteroids. They don't do like too much damage, so they're fine for the most part. Got a few good hits off there. Time to do a bit of this dance again. <laughs> Let's sidestep those and jump over this. <laughs> Let's 
Okay. I think I'm starting to get this fight down a little bit. Just a little bit. Back to homing missiles for now. <laughs> for now. What are you doing now, Sir Mizar? Okay, this again. Yep, it's the final boss time, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got zapped and died, yeah. You're not that crazy to redeem that 180 times. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, well, at least if anything, I have a strategy, so that's good. Open with machine gun and then kind of go from there. But yeah, open with machine gun, homing missile, fry rocket. It's okay if I get hit by a couple of these things here, that's fine. Okay, well, either way it's hurt it's hurting him, so that's the that's the key there. Okay, looks like that's slow enough where I can actually jump over it. Oh yeah, yeah. Ow. Not always that great at reading that attack, specifically. Okay, yeah, looks like I- okay, looks like I triggered his next cycle here. Okay, cool. So this is like kind of an indicator of how many uh, cycles he's going through. Hey, Cole, did you do that? Yeah, fair. Get those homing missiles back on and at least some major destruction. Now this is going too fast for me to jump over, so this is like the best way to avoid this right here. Oh my gosh, Flynn! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! <laughs> welcome in, by the way, Flynn. How's it going? Let me give you a shout there real quick. So welcome in, Flynn and Raiders. My name is Savage Wizardrobe. I'm a Wind Waker Wizardrobe, and I do things like random items, speedruns, and what I'm doing right now is a casual playthrough playing uh, Jet Force Gemini for the first time, and I think I just got to the final boss, and I'm dying sometimes, so, but I think I'm starting to get it down. It's kind of like, uh, I guess, like, Metroid, Metroid Dread's final boss or something like that. I compare it to that. But yeah, you, uh, you come in at a good time. I'm, like, literally fighting the final boss, Mizar, so, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Beluga Raid, and welcome in uh, to their, uh, Utal Hungry Ninetales, Nine Chef. Can I just call you Ninetales? Is that all right? 
be fine. Yeah, it is a blue grenade. That's true, Lair Flynn. How was your stream, Lair Flynn? It's, uh, hope it went pretty well, the Mega Man X4. I assume it was speedrunning, right? But yeah, let's, uh, let's fight this boss and not die. So, or try not to die. What did I say? Okay, this one is slow enough that I can actually, like, jump over it. Okay. Let's blow up a big bug. <laughs> Homing missiles are definitely a good way to go here, I think. Poison breath, oh no. Okay, that one, this, this attack's fine. That one's easy to avoid. This one, however, oh god. <laughs> this is, this attack is pretty brutal. It hurts a lot. Yeah, like, look at that. My health is like, at least a little bit zapped away. <laughs> but yeah, at least I'm learning how to avoid it. That's the main thing. Okay, did I trigger his uh, next phase? I must have. I must have. Still some health left to go, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this fight is kind of brutal. Much in the same way that, I guess, uh, Metroid Dread's fight is kind of brutal, but, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can clutch this out. Hey, uh, I'm hitting him, though. That's one thing. What's he doing now? Okay, he's doing the easy to avoid attack. Good. That one's also not too bad, by the way. Oh my god, did I just do it? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Something tells you it might not be over, though. Oh no, it's not. Oh god, no. Ah! Try rockets to the face! <laughs> oh no, oh no, I died! Well, I got pretty far though. That's that's good. I got pretty far. <laughs> okay, so I'll save the try rockets for that phase. That's pretty clear. Alright. I guess you got to see the fight from the beginning now, right? So that's cool. <laughs> Man, I'm getting I'm getting so close. It, it feels good though. No more knocker again skill, but you keep crying, right? Player two once was not good for the ones who rescued with me. Left me shooting when one was around the corner. Yeah, right. Exactly. Pretty much. Brutal, like brutal. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Let's try this again. Like I said, this fight's pretty brutal. <laughs> I'll try my best. I think this is maybe attempt number five now at this fight. I have to avoid, I have to mainly focus on avoiding that electric beam because that one hurts a lot. Okay, so I want to have the home missile set. Where 
you doing there, Mizar? Okay, you're doing this. That's the easy attack. Also easy attack. It's also RNG dependent, partially. Okay, this is the attack that hurts a lot. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm saving my homing missiles just for that. Okay, so he's going uh, over there, gonna like shoot a bunch of asteroids at me again. Okay, I'm getting a getting a gist of his attack patterns at least. That's good. Maybe yes. <laughs> The baby. Okay, if anything, at least I have plenty of homing missiles, so, you know. Okay, this is the easy attack to avoid. Good. Usually when he goes off to the side like that, I have to expect the... Okay, this is the, this is the slow one. Oh, I can actually jump over this one to completely avoid it. Yeah, avoiding damage is definitely the name of the game with this fight, that's for sure. <laughs> and then hitting him while you can, which a homing missile works actually really good for that, so. Here they come! Here they come again! Yeah, avoiding damage is a good idea sometimes, exactly, right? Usually better to avoid damage than to take damage. Who would have thought? Okay, what are you doing there, Mizar? Oh god. Ow. Yeah, see, that, that, this attack really hurts. <laughs> it do basically does like one point of health per frame, something like that. It's pretty nasty. I just basically have to play jump rope here, more or less. Get more homing missiles later. Jump over the shockwave and yeah, there we go. <laughs> See, that, that wasn't too bad, right? And I still have like half my health to play with. You know, <laughs> insane. Yeah, exactly. Hey, well, he isn't flying anymore. Let's just uh, shoot him in the face a few times. Just a few times. <laughs> okay, he's definitely hurting now. <laughs> yeah, let's blow this big bug up. How about that? How about that? Ha 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 ha! 
Good old Tri Rockets. <laughs> yep, there goes his head. <laughs> Maybe I'll collect his head as a trophy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Heck yeah, we did it. <laughs> My sword is defeated after like what five, six attempts. <laughs> I love how brutal this game can be. That fight was kind of brutal, but I survived. It was fun. I had a fun time with that. That makes all collecting all the tribals worth it. Bella, you're awake. Lupus, you're awake. <laughs> Jeff, you're awake too. We've saved Earth. Let's do it. We did it, you guys. <laughs> what is that? Oh, wait, who is that? Is that like a just left? What the? Harry? What are you doing? What, in Tarnation, right? You know him? He's my brother, but he left the colony. I had to leave, Jeff. I couldn't stand it. What was you with the powers? Next in line to be king, me with nothing. I couldn't live in your shadow any longer. I had to have my spare of the limelight. This is why I created Mizar. Wow, he created Mizar? Can't believe it, my own brother. That's a, tw that's a twist. Put so much at risk? I'm sorry, Jeff. I lost control. I never intended things to go this far. The Federation will want to know. No, Juno. This is our business. We'll take it back to Goldwood with us. Concentrate on stopping the asteroid. Oh! Now's the actual final boss. This thing's loaded with explosives. As Mizar, I'd have destroyed it before impact, but now we'll never reach the core in time. Um, if I may be of assistance, there are plenty of visitors blind enough. I can get to the core. It's your only chance. Wait, Floyd, you don't have to do this. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe not so long ago, I wouldn't have. Now I know it's the right thing to do. Time's running short. Load me up. Oh no, Floyd! So oh, wow, Floyd! It's been our honor to know you, Jet Force. Floyd's sacrificing himself. Okay. Well, never played but read about this. Okay, Floyd is sacrificing himself. That's huge. Oh well, guess we're doing one final uh, Floyd mission then. <laughs> never played but read about this. Yeah, here we go. Find the core before the time elapses. Okay, I think that's good. All right, Floyd. Floyd's last mission. All right, Floyd, this is all for you. <laughs> One last Floyd mission. <laughs> okay, looks like we found it. Rest in peace, Floyd. Three. <laughs> Floyd, no, <laughs> no, no. He was such an awesome robot, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye, Floyd. Goodbye, Floyd. Man, <laughs> I know I'm I know I'm utilitarian, but that that hurts. That hurts. Oh hey, there's a little uh, ball there. <laughs> Looks like Bella playing around, or some other kid. Well, that's a pretty fountain too. Big, uh, big city too. You never knew him, but he was cute, right? <laughs> well, I I think with that we get we did it, you guys. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> the tribals too, Jeff, Vela, and Lup or Juno, Vela, and Lupus. <laughs> the Jet Force ships. <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> We've officially done it. Hey, and there's and there's also not Yoda along for the ride too. <laughs> we are victorious. <laughs> we heckin' did it.
That's right. Defeated Mizar. That was quite the, quite the fun twist at the end, too. <laughs> Mizar was actually, like, a creation of Jeff's brother this whole time. Oh, hey, a whole bunch of other uh, troopers, too. Very nice. <laughs> yep. GG's, everyone. <laughs> GG's. GG to GFG, or JFG. <laughs> Man, that was fun. That was hacking fun. <laughs> oh man, such a, such a such a good moment. It was worth it. <laughs> that was funny. Heard a couple little uh, voice lines there. We're getting cr we're getting our medals. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Duno, Vela, and Lupus as well. <laughs> well, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. A little high five <laughs> between Juno and his twin sister, Vela. <laughs> we have saved Earth and Goldwood too. And all the tribals. <laughs> Heck yeah, epicness, that's right. <laughs> All the fireworks going off. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Man. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, and now we're gonna celebrate in the club. Here we go. <laughs> Juno's dancing <laughs> to some disco music. <laughs> yes, in true rare fashion. Yeah, and even uh even Vela's got some moves, even Lupus too. <laughs> we can dance. Character voices. <laughs> Very nice. Well, GG's, guys. <laughs> wow, Juno's like break dancing. <laughs> Even Lupus knows how to dance. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> and Bella's like, you know, she's not like entirely feeling it as much. She's a feisty one. I like her. Oh yeah, shouts to K-Love. The namesake of the club, Gun and Goldeneye, by the way. Which was 1997, a couple years before this game. <laughs> it's like Bella's covering her eyes, because uh, she's like... <laughs> she doesn't know what to think. Super Mario Club. Hey, I've seen them before. <laughs> Yeah, so, in other words, this was a fun game. I enjoyed this game, for the most part. It was definitely an enjoyable one. Like, challenging, for sure. Like, good challenge. That was good. It was, like... I would, I'd kind of, like, rate it challenge-wise, similar to, like, Metroid Dread or something. Oh, hey! And here's, like, another, uh... <laughs> yet another title screen. <laughs> yeah, we did it. I would rate it, like, challenge-wise, similar to something like Metroid Dread. So if you can beat if you can beat Metroid Dread, then you can probably beat this game, assuming you can learn its controls. The controls, yeah, they take some getting used to, but I got used to them. If you're familiar with how like Goldeneye controls, it's kinda like that. You use the C buttons a lot, too, so. It's a little weird, but it is doable. I would say like all in all in this game, yeah, this this game, I did quite enjoy this game quite a bit. Yeah. Do you have to find his parts to do two-player again? I believe so. I'm not entirely sure, because I've never done the co-op of this. But I know, I've heard that you get to actually, like, you need Floyd to be able to... You need Floyd to be able to uh, do co-op. So, yeah. My good close control with such a short skirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vela's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> She's pretty cute. <laughs> Man, that was fun though. I, I definitely enjoyed this game quite a bit. It has it, it it has its moments where it's both like a masterpiece and where it's very tedious at the same time. So it's like I would say as far as the tribals, like my main complaint about the game is like saving all the tribals is kind of a, is definitely unnecessary and adds like a lot of length to the game. And it's rather tedious, like, 
with how uh, fragile they are, and it's like, oh, if one of the tribals dies, you have to redo the area again. So that part, that part, that part about, about it, I don't like. That part kind of sucks. Let's just say that. But the rest, the rest of it, I had a lot of fun with. Let's just say that I really enjoyed. Th I really enjoyed this game. But yeah, given the tribal thing, like I'm not, and that you have to basically get everything in the game to, to even just beat it in the first place. It's not a game that I would be like itching to replay, like right off the top of my head. I would say like. If I was to rate this game a, s a score out of 10, I would probably give it somewhere around like an 8 to 8.5. So it's, it's definitely pretty solid, but yeah, it has the major thing about like, oh, oh, you need a, the second half of the, day, the game is like a huge shift and it's basically collectathon. It's a little bit excessive, I think, but it's a fun time too, you know, so. Robot go boom. Yeah, exactly, right? Rest in peace, Floyd. That was a really nice twist at the end there. Like, <laughs> what, my, like, the origins of Mizar or uh, Floyd. <laughs> Floyd sacrificing himself was really good. <laughs> I really enjoyed, like, the dark undertones of this game. Like, the atmosphere. There are definitely some really good moments. Yeah. How does he have enough pieces to put back together? I mean, at this point, he's probably shattered into a million pieces. So yeah, he's he would be beyond repair at this point. But yeah, Floyd, I I, I liked I liked Floyd. He understood utilitarian ethics. He was like, sacrifice one for the good of many. Yeah, I'm down for that. It's better that one robot gets destroyed than an entire planet of people. So. Shouts to Floyd. Floyd was a hero. <laughs> he will be great, greatly remembered. <laughs> so yeah, that's been that. That's been uh, this has been Jet Force Gemini, you guys. How long have been I've been going for about two hours and something. I'm just just gonna see if I've unlocked any cheats out of curiosity. I know I've unlocked like Rainbow Blood, which you can play around with. Yeah. Yeah, Rainbow Blood is a fun little thing. I wonder what happens when I go back into the game from this point on. Yeah, and it, it took me about like 28 hours to finish, so I, th I think that's like a that's like a pretty decent length. Again, uh, again, like with my own uh, criticisms of the game, though, I I think it I could argue it could be a little shorter. But that's just me. Oh yeah, let's also, let's also play as uh, Lupus the dog in the tank. That's always fun, right? Yeah, but it, it ended on it. I feel like it ended on a really good note. That's for sure. Like the the very final boss was really good. Oh, hey, I'm back here. <laughs> the final boss was really good. I enjoyed that. Hard, but really good. All the same. Just like I don't know, re or, or like a uh, Metroid Dread's final boss. With enough attempts at it, and I could I could feel that I was getting better at the fight as it went along. And then after. Past the flying phase, it was basically like the first Mizar fight again, so it wasn't it wasn't too bad after that. Oh yeah, by the way, so let's, <laughs> let's get some rainbow blood going on here. <laughs> that was fun. But yeah, there we go, you guys. This has been uh, Jet Force Gemini. Been a fun one too. I also like this really amb this really ambient area here. It's, it's great. You know what I talked about when I talked about atmosphere? Well, this game does it all right. There's even like the humor too. So you know, <laughs> the big bug uh, fun club and all that. Oh yeah. By the way, Lupus can howl. Let's do it again. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. <laughs> but hey, there we go. Bit of a shorter stream today, but hey, I won't be streaming tomorrow, so I figured, okay, might as well do the stream today. And hey, I finished Jet Force Gemini, so you know, <laughs> that's cool. I can officially put this game from my past behind me. And maybe work on other things, like, I don't know, getting a submission in for uh, the next Fastest Furs event. 
which by the way is going to be in person so i'm going to see if i can make it ideally i can but it would involve going on a plane over down to atlanta so <laughs> but yeah <laughs> it's it it's feasibly possible i know that i certainly have the money for it i have the money set aside for it it's just the fact i need the time <laughs> set aside for it and i'm gonna want somebody to go with me which i have someone in mind so oh yeah we'll we'll see what happens as far as that goes other than that and doya uh, doge cybernetic doge and in, in tank <laughs> we'll have him howl again sure <laughs> enjoy the dog in the tank And aside from that, you guys, this has been Jet Force Gemini. Again, I, I would, uh, given everything overall in the game, I would say, I would rate it about like an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10. So it's definitely still a solid game. It's, it's not as good as like, I don't know, GoldenEye 007 or something like that, which is like a 10, like pretty much a 10 out of 10 game in my eyes. Because again, like hunting down a tribals, lots of, lots of backtracking and, uh, bit tedious for sure that second half of the game first half of the game's really good though so yeah and then the very very end of the game is also really good so that that part's a lot of fun too so once you actually save all the tribals it, the, the very very end of the game is really good <laughs> but yeah just like the whole halfway point to that point is like a bit of a slog Let's just put it like that. If you thought the if you thought collecting artifacts in Metroid Prime was tedious, if you thought collecting uh, Sky Temple keys and Echoes was tedious, if you thought collecting energy cells in Metroid Prime 3 was tedious, if you thought collecting the Triforce charts and Triforce pieces in Wind Waker was tedious, well, <laughs> yeah, this game kind of beats them all a little bit. So let's put it like that. All right, it, it definitely takes patience, but I'd say it was it was worth it at the end of the day. So overall, that's my take on this game. Anyways, will I play the game again sometime in the future? Who knows? Not for a while, though, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, imagine 100 percenting Donkey Kong 64. It's kind of it's al it's almost it's almost that bad. I would say it's almost that bad. But, no, I would say also not quite that bad, because there are some things that are not, like, requ hard required. Like, you don't need all the capacity upgrades. Like, I had plenty more homing missiles than I needed for Mizar, so that part was okay. So I was, I was completely fine with that. I had, like, f I had, like, definitely enough ammo, so it's literally, like, the machine gun. If, as long as you focus on, like, the machine gun ammo for Ju Juno, the tri-rockets for Juno, and the homing missiles for Juno, yeah, you'll... And with a few attempts, you'll have Mizar in the bag. As long as you can dodge all the attacks, so that's the main thing. Again, just like Metroid Dread's final boss. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Mission complete! <laughs> Mission complete, exactly. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my blind playthrough of Jet Force Gemini, and at this point, it's no longer blind. Also, Floyd's back, so... <laughs> but he made a noble sacrifice. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed it, and... Because I sure did. For the most part, anyways. Solid 8, 8.5 out of 10, for sure. 